feel is going to kill you if you thought about that. I'm talking to you. Ben. Ben. What's going to you, eh? Look, I'm really sorry about this, Emma. Come on, we are going. Get off me! But why has it done that? Because that is too small. Any Muppet can see that. Well, can't you just find the right one so we can get on with it? Yeah, just get on with it. Forget it never happened. I asked you to pass me it. And you passed me this. Well, you couldn't look yourself. It's you all over in it. Always someone else's fault. And when Lexi falls through it, you'll be like, Shut oh, up! Never hurt right. her. Bring you that. The pot's down the fit with the change. You see, Miss? This is what Shirley's doing for George, because he ain't got no mum. I mean, you know what that's like, right? And so do you. Look, we all do, all right? And if that ever, ever happens to her, I need to know she's got you two, because you ain't just friends. You're family. All right? That's what you said, isn't it? You just fix up. Do you think if you were proper brothers, then you'd get over it? Because, well, Dad and Grant, they always get over things. Anything. The only reason I kept quiet was because I thought of you as a brother. I in the picture frame. I was out of order. And I panicked and you're right and I'm sorry. Mm, of course you are. Me and you, we can never go back to how we were. We're not the same. Nothing's the same. We could be. You scare me. <laughs> That'd be stupid. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're capable of. You just said that you think of me as a brother. Thought. But no more. I'm here for a Lola, and I'm here for Lexi, and they want to see us getting on. So that's what we'll show them. Oh, yeah, what's this? Spaghetti bolognese. Well, you don't put chilli in spaghetti bolognese. I uh, thought I'd make a nice dinner for all of us, show Sharon how much I appreciate her letting me stay here. I helped as well. Well, you chopped an onion and cried. I didn't cry. Well, I've got plans. Oh, yeah, with who? <laughs> you don't have any plans. Well, I ain't sitting in while you two cosy up over spaghetti bolognese like Lady in the Tramp. Like, what are you even doing? Spaghetti bolognese, I just said that. No, with Ben. I mean, you know he's gay, didn't you? I'm pretty sure I didn't ask for your opinion. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. He likes boys. So whatever you're doing, it's not worth it, all right? I wouldn't be surprised if you sabotaged it. Didn't, Jay. Oh, shut up, as if I do that. What happened while I was out? You sound like spoiled children. Abby, I'm sorry about your dinner. I'll take you all over to the vet, get something there. I ain't going if these two are. Yes, you are. It's Mick and Linda's engagement, and I promise we'll be there as a family, so that's what we're doing. Now, go and get yourself sorted. We're leaving in five minutes. Right? What? <laughs> well, this is nice, isn't it, eight for of us? Jay, why did you bring me here tonight? For a drink? Because he's desperate. Excuse me? Because he's desperate to get back at me. Listen, if I wanted to get back at you, I could just like that. Oh, really? And how's that, Jay? Because all you've done all day is make childish remarks. No, what I do? I'll tell you that Ben here tried to kiss me the other week. Oi! Take that back, that ain't true. And the first right, that ain't true. And I don't know why I said it. Doing that, Ben. Making me nervous. You should be nervous, Jay. We're sat here twiddling our thumbs. It could be us getting charged next week. Stop it. 
What, Abby? If you don't want Marsden and Co. banging our door down, you best hope your scummy old man gets life. <sighs> she does remember Max selling us down the river, yeah? That's a bit harsh, wasn't it? Things ain't always been perfect between you and your dad. Oh, sleeping beauty, get up. You stink of sick. Alone, well, come on, we've got to get down the arches. Well, he's not going to make work. Well, we ain't dumping me in it. I ain't covering for him. Shut your mouth. What are you doing drinking on a school night anyway? I just got a bit too drunk. It's no big deal. Something up? Is this about your mum? I got wasted. All right, I'm sorry. Be in as soon as I can. Yeah, make sure you are. You owe me one. Hey, Abby ain't been your girlfriend for a long time. And neither has anyone else, for that matter. So, thanks for the advice, but I'll deal with it. All right, pal? So, you dragged me off to the abortion clinic, or...? That's not fair, is it? Well, that's what you asked me. Came to lunch and started Googling abortions. Do you need one, though? What? Do you need one, Abby? Are you even pregnant? What? You're lying, aren't you? I knew it. You're lying. Right, you're getting desperate now. You're lying! Tell me the truth! What, you want to see it? After everything that you said this morning, I hoped it wasn't true. It was some sort of mistake because you clearly don't want it. And I don't want to make you unhappy, so I checked again. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. <laughs> yeah, coward! You've made your point. Just get out of the way! Oh, what? You're going to knock me over, are you? Please, Dad. Don't take out on Jay! Listen, she's been laughing at all of us, lying about losing a kid. Yeah, and what do you think make her do that? He won't listen to me! Just get back in the car. Ben, leave tell her. her. She deserves it. Oh, yeah. Because you ain't done nothing wrong in all this, have you? You dragged her out in the middle of the pub in front of everyone, and you, you got in a digger and nearly killed your own daughter. Both of you have made mistakes. He was only with her to please you because he was scared of what you might think. Enough people have got her. This stops now. Now, I'm going to take Abby to Dot's. Make sure you get him on. What's all that about? Look, I meant what I said, right? All this is because you won't accept who you are. Done. It's because you won't accept who you really want to be. Look at my dad. The state of him. I can't just... I can't just... You're gay! Right? You are gay. And nothing's gonna get better until you be proud of that and come out. Right? But, Paul. Good, good. Sign him up. Are you deliberately trying to stick Dad and Paul in the same pub? Believe it or not, right, the world doesn't revolve around you and Paul. <laughs> You're jealous. <laughs> Je jealous? I'm jealous. That's a new one, oh, that. Don't be your melt. All right, you're jealous because your relationship fell apart and me and Paul are doing all right. Oh, take this chain. Is any of you all tucked up? Oh, good that work, Ben. Jay, not now. We're all tired. Where's Danny? Is he here? Uh, Roxy took him to Ronnie's after football. Okay. What? Oh, you know, I just really want to hear about this can belt that you had to change, mate, because it was probably such a nightmare for you. Well, maybe I'll tell you when our visitor leaves, Jay. You're back. Jay Brown, is it? DC Bansell, your police public protection officer. We've just been taking a look around, make sure the conditions of your status on the register are being met. Could we...? Look, we just got back from the hospital. Can we do this later? Won't take long. Save us bothering you tomorrow. Please. Let's go through. Come on. <laughs>
Stop wiggling, will ya? What are you doing? Stop wiggling, will ya? What are you doing? Jay's found Come a couple on. of teaspoons at the bottom of your bin. You don't mind, do you? Mate, honestly, it's really hurting. Man, go on, take what you like. Any chance you can stop yapping and get me out? Alright, alright. Wick is Andrea. Alright, you ready, bro? Oh, it's alright. Here she comes. He's got his face. Brilliant. So funny. It is funny. I come down the stairs and your legs are sticking up like that. Well, this is what happens when I let him convince me what? to buy him flat screen tellies. <laughs> Where you go? First hour. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Where you been? Yes. How come? Been in the library. <laughs> what? I don't get it. What, you mean you can't work it out? Turns out your old man's a murderer. Uh, can I help? I don't think so. Are you looking for Ben? Ben 96? Oh yeah, take a seat, mate. Prepare to meet the man of your dreams. You? You didn't use your own throat on your profile. No, uh, no, 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 it's not me. No, he's just shy, he does this all no, the time. she's winding you up. I am not Ben 96. Is that why you brought your mate? Need to use someone else's picture. You're a good looking guy. Better than a photo, actually. Weird, it's usually the other way around. It is. Is it because you're ginger? <laughs> <laughs> right, number one. <laughs> you're ginger. Number two, I am not Ben 96. So, what's your real name? But I am not Ben 96. Well, I am not gay. Like I said, you're ginger. Right, number three. Number three, number three. Are you really straight? Oh. Uh, is he hitting on you? Sorry, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but in the flesh, you're not really my type. Well, you ain't all that yourself. You ever change your mind? Hey, how comes even you get more blokes like that? Ginger Ninja. Mm. <laughs> 